Okay, y'all, welcome to the vlog. This is a series where I take my parents around the world. I gifted them a once in a lifetime trip, starting with taking a charter flight to Miami and then catching a flight to Dubai. We are now in Paris. We had the Ritz Concierge hire us a tour guide to show my dad all around the sites in Paris since it's his very first time here. And then I take them to my favorite castle in all of France. It's gonna be a good one. I hope you enjoy. Good morning, guys. This morning we are taking a tour of Paris. Dad, are you excited? I am excited. He's gonna ask all his man questions. I hire a tour guide every time I go with my dad somewhere because he has lots of man questions. Like, how do you get water? And how old is this building? And lots of things that I have no idea about. <laughs> so let's go. Magnificent, yes, yes. Yeah, we're, we're gonna climb it. We're Everybody climb thinks it. Dad is Robert De Niro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, what do y'all think? They're huh? stopping him like, are you Robert De Niro? <laughs> I mean, if it is, there's a money maker right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we could get into free, yeah, free yeah, museums we, probably. Yeah, yeah. Can we get into free museums if he thinks he's Robert De Niro? Yeah. Does Roma De Niro pay for the excuse the line? You might excuse the line. Oh, uh, uh, excuse the you line? Excuse the line, but you might not get the ticket for free. Uh, 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 right. Even Robert, don't you? Okay. Uh, okay, well, you gotta pay. You gotta we'll, pay. we'll use you for something. <laughs> <laughs> only hill in Paris or like technically one of two but it's the biggest hill in Paris and you can see all of Paris from here and then this little cafe on the corner is actually was never originally pink but it's super famous because it's called the pink cafe or la rose la mason rose is what it's called it's like the, the pink house and anyways it was actually a painter who painted this cafe pink in his painting and it got so famous became such a famous painting that they actually painted the cafe um after the painting because it became so famous which was really really cool one of the really cool places that you can uh, go and walk and see and you can see the square and all right what do you guys think <laughs> <laughs> My dad's uh, wearing a casket in in casket, right? Casket, casket, correct. Casket, casket, and uh, everybody thinks he's Robert De Niro. So now he's really gonna think he's Robert De Niro with his. <laughs> even he, even he was like, he was like, I thought you were Robert De Niro when we first walked up. <laughs> he like had to check the name, and he was like, I wonder if this is like a pseudonym. Like, is he actually Robert De Niro? <laughs> so it looks really good. I love it. We're gonna get it. <laughs> <laughs> How did we come here? <laughs> this is ad lib. This was not rehearsed. I know it doesn't sound like it. <laughs> true, a true encore, encore. <laughs> <laughs> we are on our way to Cafe Merrily. We just ended our tour, it was absolutely wonderful, and now we're going to have uh, lunch at Cafe Merrily because it's right in front of the Louvre and it's our favorite spot ever, mine. They haven't been yet. And uh, yeah, let's go. Back in the room, 
And uh, one of the wonderful things that they do when you stay at a suite at the Ritz is they give you this uh, little basket of fruit. A lot of hotels do that. It's like one of my favorite things. You can just kind of snack on it throughout the day. They brought these grapes. Now, I have a thing that I tell everybody. If you come to France, try the fruit. The fruit is so different here than it is in America, like by like worlds away. You feel lied to your whole life. Like if you try a banana here and then you go back to the States, it is a completely different taste. It's like you're tasting a banana for the very first time. It's like you're tasting a, what a banana should taste like. And then in the US, it is like a, a like shadow of its former self. It is like not even close. These grapes just literally blew my entire mind. I just had mom try it and she was like, okay, let me try it. And then she, she even she was like, <laughs> was like, right? We're gonna have dad try it. Are you ready to try a grape like it actually should taste? Yeah. This is the first time you were ever gonna try a grape in your whole life. I already had one of their grapes. No, 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 no. He's talking about the green grapes. The green grapes are fantastic, yeah. completely different. Yeah. This is not even close to that difference. Mm -hmm. mm, wow. That is another level. <laughs> right? It is. Yeah. Right? Yes, it's uh, soft and, yeah. and uh, insane. Flavor, flavorful, yeah. That's a, that's a circus in your mouth right there. Yeah. You want another one? Okay. Yeah, whatever. Um, mm. What's thing going on there? Right? All right. We are going out to dinner at our favorite cafe in the whole world called Cafe Mademoiselle. It is right next to the Ikea for your reference. It, I talked about it in my last um, Paris vlog, how I discovered it and like the whole story, but basically me and my mom went there on completely separate occasions. Like I happened to be walking by it, happened to be stopping for lunch and just decided to stop there completely separately, not together on two completely different occasions. And both of us thought it was like the best place in the whole world without knowing that that it was the cafe that we went to. We're gonna show my dad now, which will be great. this morning I'm about to get into a uber because we are going to chateau cambord my favorite castle in all of france i am obsessed with it it is like a gorgeous chateau and uh, my dad has never been me and my mom have been before it's like an hour and a half 45 minutes hour and 45 minutes outside of paris so we're gonna rent a car and head there right now let's go and the best doorman at the ritz right here you have to come say hi if you come hi, to the ritz. how are you welcome to paris <laughs> and, and pronounce your name in french for me again uh you say your, your name in french my name is musa 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 in french you have to say hi to musa when hi, you come to hi. paris the absolute best <laughs> okay here at national rental car Let's see which one of these babies we get. Okay, here she is. And now we are off to Chateau Cambord. Let's go. I am so excited. We just arrived and I cannot wait to show my dad this place. We're rushing because we have about 30 minutes still left of light and we're about to beg them to see if they, if they will let us sit inside the castle. <laughs> Let's hope they will. This is the entrance. Let's see if they'll give me a ticket. Okay, dad, keep your eyes down. Keep your eyes down. Okay. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's acting for YouTube. It's really cool though, right? We are so annoyed that there's scaffolding on the top of this. There's definitely not normally scaffolding there. They didn't tell anybody they were doing that on the website or anything, so that's upsetting. <laughs>
me and mom hiding from the rain under the <laughs> we we got to the castle five minutes before they closed we sprinted inside i somehow convinced one of the guys to let us in <laughs> and we sprint into the castle look around for like five minutes and then all of them are like all right all right you have to leave you have to leave so we're, we uh, walk all the way out to the gift shop and do some like hardcore three minute shopping and story then it's lives. yeah story of our lives and, <laughs> and now it started pouring rain not pouring but like sprinkling heavy and we have the little umbrella from the Ritz. So now we're walking all the way back to the car under our little Ritz umbrella. So if you're watching this, thank you for giving us an umbrella, you legend, yeah, you. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> I love it here. And back in our room, look how sweet the Ritz is. Look, 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 look. They brought fresh flowers, which are literally gorgeous. And every two days they brought us a new little treat. But this is the first time they brought up extra flowers. And you guys know how much I love flowers. I love it here. I love it here. this vision this morning because I missed breakfast downstairs. I was like on a call and I was just like, oh no. And so I called room service. And I was like, oh, can I have my breakfast in my room instead? And they were like, absolutely. And he came with the trolley and I was like, I have a vision. Can we put this little, like, like make this little nook into like a little breakfast, uh, like table. And he was like, absolutely. And so he like brought it all the way over. All the sun just shined in, but look, look, ah, it's just perfection. But now I'm mad because I could have been doing this literally the entire time here instead of going downstairs. This is so much better. <laughs> I mean, downstairs is wonderful, but the Eiffel Tower, I'm literally looking at the Eiffel Tower right now while eating my eggs. Like, <laughs> so wonderful. Okay. And just like that, we are checking out of the Ritz. Sad times, absolutely incredible time though. And I am headed to London, yay! So thank you so much for watching this video and pretty please subscribe uh, because there's gonna be more vlogs just like this one and all kinds of luxury unboxings. So I hope to see you there and I will see you next time, bye! A true encore, encore! <laughs>